Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chase at Rocky Mountain HVMC, and today we're showing you the 2.0 DBX Enduro Light Hydration Pack from Leon. All right, everyone, thank you so much for checking in. So two things right off the bat with the DBX Enduro Light Hydration Pack that stand out. One, the fabric on this is welded waterproof. So if you ride in wet conditions, you want a pack that's not gonna have water coming through, that's a great feature of this pack. The other big feature about this pack that stands out right away is that there is a CE level one certified back protector that will come included with this pack. It is also removable. So for riders that maybe wanna utilize their hydration pack as maybe protection if they go down, well, this is giving you the best of both worlds. So that's those are two features about this pack that really stand out, but we're gonna go through and we're gonna show you all the pockets the chest harness, everything about this to help you decide if this is the hydration pack that you do want to pick up. There's a two liter hydration bladder inside here and five liters of storage capacity. So it is, I'd say medium to large size, but it allows you to get a lot of gear inside here and you have compression straps on the outside to put a jacket or maybe some armor that you might be taking with you on your ride. So let's start with the shoulder straps and the harness here. So a very thin mesh fabric with the shoulder straps, which is good. That helps keep the pack lightweight. It's gonna help these things breathe. The SIP tube, you can route over the left or the right shoulder. That's gonna be rider preference. And you have this clip right here, which you can swap to either side if you want to. They also do allow you to run the SIP tube out the bottom of the pack as well. So you've got four different spots. You can route that SIP tube. Now these shoulder straps do have some adjustability. So you notice that on each one, you have all these loops going all the way down. So you have this clip right here, you just undo that clip, and then you just kind of pull that strap up, clip it on there. So you can adjust the length of the shoulder straps if you do need to. As far as these clips right here in the middle, you've got two of them. So very simple to operate. And what I do like also is that these clips do have elastic there, so they do have a little bit of give. So if you get this thing nice and snug, it's got a little bit of stretch to it. And then down here at the bottom, you can see with these straps, again, you got plenty of adjustability with those as well. Now on your shoulder straps, a couple features here. So you'll notice right here, they have this little piece that has a GoPro picture on it or just an action camera. So this is really just what we found would be if you wanna carry your GoPro with you, maybe you don't wanna have it on your helmet while maybe you're just doing some climbing or whatever, you can hang your GoPro from this little strap right here. I don't know if I would necessarily use that as a chest mount and try and ride with it, but there is a location right here you could put your GoPro. Then below that, you've got one pocket. So open that up. So pretty good size, put some snacks, maybe your keys, other items inside there. And then in this mesh pocket here, this will actually come included with a safety whistle. So if you go down for whatever reason, you need to just be loud and get somebody's attention, this whistle will come included. On the other side, you have a cell phone pocket. Get inside there, all right. Now, with this cell phone pocket, you do have this clear piece here on the outside, which is touch compatible. I tested this, it works fine. However, what I did notice is that this piece right here only gives me about half of the screen on my phone. And the pocket, so I tested it out. I have an iPhone 10, which I know is not the largest smartphone that is out there, and I have a pretty thin cover on it. It barely squeezes inside this pocket. So if you have a pretty large smartphone, you might have some difficulties getting inside that pouch. So just something to be mindful of. But I do want to point out that with that back pad that we already talked about, like I said, that is removable. You just got some Velcro up here on top, which gives you access to that sleeve. But then also what is cool is that if you take that pad out, you still have this padding right here, which is just kind of helps separate the pack from the rider's back to get a little bit of airflow going through there. And of course, down here at the bottom, you can see you have more of this rubberized texture material. That is just to kind of help keep the pack in place once you have it on. So flip her back around. First thing we'll talk about are the compression straps. So a couple uses for these. One, like I said, if you're doing some mountain biking, maybe have some knee guards that you don't want to wear while you're climbing, you could use these for that. You could also put a jacket with these compression straps as well. Another use for them is you notice right here you have these helmet logos. So you can hang a full face helmet utilizing these straps. Now, it kind of took us a minute to figure it out, but we're gonna show you what it looks like when you have the helmet hanging from these. Now, for dirt biking, might not be the most practical thing, but for mountain biking, you know, if maybe you're doing a long climb on a fire road and you know there's gonna be a time where you don't need to wear your helmet, if you are taking a full face, not a lot of people like to climb in those, you could wear your helmet or just put it on this pack and then throw it on when you're ready to use it. So you've got multiple uses for those. Now, we'll open up this main pocket here in the front. 
So with this, no bells and whistles. It's just one compartment, but again, it's nice and big, so you can get a lot of gear inside there. And like I said, all the seams on this, all the zippers are all going to be waterproof. We open up the main compartment. So inside here, one little feature, you do have this tool pouch or this tool sleeve. So this gives you the ability to carry some tools with you. You know, you've got lots of mesh compartments in here. So nice little organization for your tools because on the main compartment, you notice that there are no other mesh pockets or anything like that. So you don't have a way to maybe keep your smaller things organized. So that is something you can utilize this for. Now you also do have this clip right here, which you could maybe hang some keys, but the primary use is they want you to be able to hang this tool sleeve from that clip to keep it suspended inside the pack. And then you've got your mesh sleeve that is going to hold your water bladder. You've got your clip on here to keep that suspended. And like I said, that sip tube, you can route over either shoulder or down to the bottom. You'll also notice too that you have this reflective material inside here. That is to help keep the rider's body heat away from the bladder so you're not warming up your liquid. So I like that. And like I said, on the inside here, it's just gonna be one large main compartment. Zip that back up. Last thing I will point out is right here in the front, they do have this little clip or this little loop right here, so you can hang a light from there if you do need that. So overall, with the 2.0 DBX Enduro Light Hydration Pack, I like it. I like the fact that if you are looking for, or if you like the idea of having a back protector with your pack with a good amount of storage capacity, this thing's got a lot of cool features. If you do have questions or comments, we'd love to get those answers, so make sure leave those in the comment section below. To grab this today and to see the other hydration packs that we do offer, just click on the link or head over to rockymonatvmc.com. As always, we ship for free over 75 bucks, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel. We are the number one place to go to for product reviews like the one you just saw today. I'm Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.